Hey guys, so today's video is obviously another different one. If you've seen my pregnancy or depression videos, you're probably like, she's crazy, right? That's, I mean, I would think that. I feel like everybody's got their struggles, their issues. I don't know. When I posted my depression and pregnancy video, it really just helped me talking to a lot of um, people who are commenting, just hearing other people's stories. Um, I don't know, just the feedback I got, it made me feel like, okay, that was a good decision when up until that point I was pretty nervous about it. I just feel like I'm not the type of person who can talk to people about issues. Like, I cannot, I'm not good at talking to people, I actually hate it. I feel like this is kind of my way to get around that, a little barrier that I have. Getting right into it, um, I have struggled with... I can't, I, I don't even like to call it bulimia, but it's bulimia. I just have never allowed myself to think of myself as bulimic because when you think of a bulimic, you think of these like skeletal, sickly, like scary, sad looking people. And I'm obviously not that. Since my senior year of high school, I have been, um, Binging and purging, we all have heard about it, we all learned about it in school, we all know it's terrible. I have never told anyone until five days ago, I told my husband, because we've been trying to lose weight together and he just kind of asked me one night when we were lying in bed, like, what's going on? Am I serious about it? Because we, my family has this big reward if we all, like a big vacation, if we all kind of get to our goals or reach our goals this year. So I just came out and told him that I've, every other time that I've lost significant amounts of weight or any weight at all really, it's because I was throwing up my food. And since I was 17 when this started, I, my weight has fluctuated like between 100 pounds, um, which is insane and so bad for your body. I mean, it was very emotional, it was very, it was a good talk. I feel bad because he feels bad that he didn't see it sooner. He has no reason to feel bad. Like I, if you've ever dealt with this, then you know you do everything you can to hide it because it's extremely, for me it's embarrassing. Like that's basically why I'm making this video because my husband now knows and that weight has been lifted and I feel like he, he's there to help me now because I'm letting him be, you know? With the depression and the pregnancy video, it just really helped me to move on and move past things and I'm hoping this will do the same and that's probably a selfish reason to post this video but I'm also hoping that again like with the pregnancy videos that it might help one other person want to tell somebody and get help. For some people seeking professional help really is the answer for them but it's just not for me and I know it's not. This is my way of trying to get better. I started throwing up my food when I was a senior in high school, like after I had finalized where I was gonna go play volleyball after high school. My issue has always been with food. I was always athletic, always at practices and at workouts, like six days a week. Um, and so the, the being active part was never hard for me. It was the food. It just took a lot for me to get full, to get satisfied, to feel like I was done eating. I feel like I, would eat three, two or three times more than what the other girls my age would eat. Oh my gosh, like my best friend, this little half Filipino girl, she, the tiniest little bites, the like slowest, like dainty little eater. That's like the perfect word to describe her. And then there's me, like pounding food just to feel a little bit satisfied, not even full. Like started in my senior year because I had a teammate ask me, she said, have you ever eaten so much that it hurts so bad so you have to make yourself throw up to even feel better? She asked me that and I thought about it like I've gotten to that point eating where it hurts. <laughs> You're so full that it actually hurts. Like I've, that's just like life, right? But I never thought about throwing it up. So that's the first time the thought crossed my mind. So I tried it. I don't even remember the first time I tried it. It got to a point where I was doing it daily, where I would try and eat healthy-ish throughout the morning and lunch time, then around dinner time, I'd eat anything that I wanted. And, and like to a point where I would 
like eat random like stuff that I wouldn't eat normally if I was hungry or, or like snacky. I would just eat anything because I was I knew I was gonna throw it up anyway, so I felt like if I didn't fill my stomach up before I threw up, felt like it would so stupid, but I felt like it would be a waste of a throw up. And it, it's so gross and so like so stupid. So yeah, I did that daily. Um, I lost maybe 30 pounds pretty quickly. So then when I moved away to school after high school, I continued doing it, but it wasn't like we were doing two a days and stuff. So I was like super in shape for me. It kind of slowed down to only when I ate a ton of bad food, which is still bad. But I felt in my mind like, oh, it's getting better. It's only once or twice a week now instead of daily. So that's basically what my life has been like since then, since 2008. Nine years where I go through phases of every day, sometimes two or three times a day depending on what I eat, I would just throw it up. If you've seen my pregnancy stories like video, you would know that I got pregnant. As soon as I got pregnant and found out, I stopped completely because I wanted that baby to get the nourishment and the food and the second I, I'm pregnant I feel like like something switches and I'm like no it needs all the food so that's why I gain weight so fast when I'm pregnant ended up getting married pregnant with Jace and I stopped as soon as I got pregnant I stop again gain all the weight and then after I have the baby I would just get back into it and start throwing up again to lose the weight that's just what it's been. When I'm not pregnant, I'm hardcore bulimic. Full out, hardcore, dropping weight, getting really, really thin. It, I look at photos and it's like creepy to me how thin I got. And as for the harm that it's done to my body, I, I don't want to know. It's bad, but I refuse to look into it. I'm just not there yet. I don't want to know if my years of binging and purging if it had a direct impact which I feel like it did but I don't want to know if it had a direct impact on the losses um the pregnancies some of you might be like stupid duh that's why you've lost the babies I don't know I like refused to let myself believe that right now and I feel like I'll get over that soon and look into the harm that I've actually done to my body besides that I've had insane headaches like knock me out and I have to be laying down closing my eyes headaches where it just hurts so bad so besides those there's obviously the teeth I my teeth I brush them all the time I cannot whiten them because it hurts so bad um, they're just very extremely sensitive to cold and to whatever is in whitening that's why they're pretty yellow so I feel like I'm just stuck with yellow teeth forever I and mean, that's like a selfish vein thing. The big thing is just the cavities, the root canals. I've had three. Um, I probably need another one. I'm getting two more fillings in April. I actually had one tooth back here. I was chewing gum. This was like three or four years ago. I was chewing gum and all of a sudden my gum had a crunch to it. So I pulled the gum out and there was chunks of my tooth in it. Like it was just, it just crumbled. It was the grossest, weirdest thing. And so I have crowns on four of my teeth back there. I just went to the dentist two weeks ago. She said I my gums are receding, which scares me. Because that was always the big thing. Like I felt like I always took pretty good care of my teeth because I was scared of losing them. The enamel is just gone. My teeth are almost like see-through. It's gross. I know. It'll cost me a lot of money down the line, I'm sure. I want to hopefully deter anyone from trying it. If there's anyone who's actively bulimic right now, I want to say this because so that, just to help them to stop. The actual act of throwing up, it hurts. Like obviously everybody's thrown up when you're sick and it's unpleasant. I can't explain it, but I would dread going to the toilet and throwing up, but for some reason I couldn't stop. I've thrown up so much, actually I'm at the point where I can make myself throw up without even having to gag myself anymore, which is disgusting. 
It's pretty embarrassing, honestly. That's why I haven't told anyone in nine years. Actually, my sister once, I was at my mom's house and I walked out of the bathroom and she just straight out said, were you just throwing up? And I lied and said no and she kept asking questions and I was like, no, like, shut up, no. Um, but ever since then, she, she would be like, oh, I'm so full, I, I wanna make myself throw up. And she'd like, look at me. And I feel like she, I feel like she knew, so dang, a little smart ass. It's just, it takes such a big toll on you mentally, physically, obviously, but mentally. Now I'll just kind of tell you where I'm at now. This change mentally has only happened in the past five days um, where I made a promise to my husband that I was done, that I'm going to stop. And for the past five days, I have like refused to eat anything that will make me feel like I need to throw up. I can't explain it, but I, if I eat healthy foods, I, don't, I feel completely fine. I feel normal. I don't feel like this constant nagging that I need to throw up if I eat healthy, which for the past five days I have. I know for a fact that if I eat anything bad, we all know what bad foods are, any junk, any sugar, any sweets, any pizza, bread, anything bad, I know that I will have to throw it up. If you're there, then you know what I mean. You have to get it out of you. It's like the, all you can think about. So I'm still there right now. I'm, I haven't thrown up. March 18th was the last time I threw up. And you're gonna be like, you're huge. What was throwing up doing? Exactly. It doesn't do what you want it to do. Like it's, I feel like since I lost this baby in October, like, just like clockwork, I started throwing up my food again. And hopefully soon I'll get there. I will keep you posted if I ever get to the point where eating eating good foods, eating good portions of good foods is just something that I choose to do of my own free will. But as of now, I'm... Well, it's been five days, guys, but... As of now, I'm only eating healthy. So so that I can keep that promise of not throwing up because I know the second I eat something unhealthy, I'll binge all the unhealthy stuff and throw it up just so that it doesn't, like, I can't explain it, okay? I know I probably sound stupid and crazy. Another big reason why I'm choosing to try to stop. If you're LDS, you know, you know we teach that God gave us these bodies to use them, to respect them, to like basically be a tool for him to to do good in the world and I'm trying to teach my kids that and like we were in the car and Jace asked if we could get McDonald's and I told him no we need to eat healthy because our, when he asked why blah, blah, I said our body is a temple and it's just like how am I teaching him this when I have not treated my body with any respect for the past nine years but it goes so much farther than 2008 when I started. I remember as an eight year old, every birthday wish, every shooting star, and I would actively look for shooting stars. Um, every time it said 1111, and everyone was like, make a wish. Every wish, all I would say in my mind was skinny. That's all. I don't know if that's normal for an eight year old. That's always what I wanted, was to be skinny. Never healthy, never fit. I feel like if I had better self-esteem as a young girl, I probably wouldn't have became bulimic, which is still so weird for me to say because I never considered myself bulimic. We all learn about it in high school. We all see the pictures. We all know what somebody with an eating disorder looks like, and I am not it. Even at my thinnest, when I lost a lot of weight, I was still 180 pounds. Like 180, that's huge to the world for a woman, right? Right now, I am 20 pounds away from my heaviest ever, and I want to get to a healthy weight and like stay there. I've never stayed at a healthy weight. I've never stayed at one weight for more than like six months. No, more than like three months. My weight has just fluctuated so much because I'd always be binging and purging or throwing up or I'd stop completely, and then I'd start and stop. And then sometimes I'll only do it a couple times a week, and then sometimes I'll do it three times a day. So it's just like, I never, my poor body is probably so messed up inside. I can't stress enough to just never ever start, because once you start, 
like nine years later, look at me. It's just, it does no good mentally or physically. You might lose weight like I did those few times, but it just comes back the second that you try and stop. And hopefully you try and stop. Honestly, if I didn't ever get pregnant, I probably, believe me, I probably would have taken me out, I feel like, because I was on such, I don't know. Maybe that's why I had to get pregnant so many times. Maybe that was the Lord's way of telling me to stop. I don't know, that motherly instinct that hopefully all women have, the second you get pregnant, you just want that baby to grow and receive what it needs. So I'm at this moment now just realizing that, that I'm grateful that I did get pregnant when I was 18 and then again five times after because it did get me to stop throwing up even if it was for four months, six months, or like until I gave birth. I just want to say if any of my family or friends see this because I've never told anyone, they have no idea, just know that I'm working on it and I have my husband who is, who is so good. I feel like I will get through it. I've never, over the past nine years, this is the first time like I've had this way of thinking. Like I've tried to stop so many times and it would last like three days. It's probably the longest I've ever gone without throwing up. Something changed in me when I told my husband. Seeing his reaction, because it was so different than what I thought it would be because he's such a man, <laughs> like a big tough man, you know? I was expecting him to be like irritated with me, like how stupid of you to do that, to hurt, to hurt the babies, you know? But he didn't think that at all. That's why I was so scared to tell him because I didn't want him to just throw the blame on me when I know it's all my fault, but his reaction is what is what I think it has made this change in me. And again, it's only been five days, so, but I'm pretty optimistic and hopeful. I know it's because someone knows, my husband knows, and nobody's ever known before, so it was like, oh, if I stop and then start back up again, it's like, it's only hurting me. But if I don't keep my promise, to my husband, then it's hurting him. So there's another crying video for you. <laughs> and I don't want this to seem like I'm just posting all my problems so people will watch my videos. I'm doing it because they help me emotionally, spiritually. Hopefully they'll help someone else out there too. But I mean, I did makeup videos for so long and I feel like it's just such a waste of time. I mean, I love makeup, so it was fun. It was like, it was fun in that way. But like, what does it do in the like eternal scheme of things? Absolutely nothing, right? When we all die and go to heaven or wherever we go, nobody's gonna be like, oh, I remember that smoky eye tutorial you did. Like, no one cares. But somebody might be like, you know what? You talking about your depression or your eating disorder really helped me. That's something that I could be proud of. I don't know. Okay, that's all. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you soon. Bye.